Big smile on my face. Guess what? The FedEx guy just came! Bum, bum, bum! Whoosh! This is a vibe! It's a vibe, Trooper! It's a vibe! <laughs> the vibe is here! Ah! Alright, alright, let's get unboxing! So look at this beautiful box, it's so beautiful and shiny and look at the vibe, oh it's so pretty. The lighthouses and the controllers, oh my gosh. I can finally see what it's like to, yeah you just can't wait to get your cat hair all over this can you? Go away. That feels pretty cool, almost like a gun, I don't know, it feels, yeah. Not very comfortable. <laughs> Already it feels weird. Why didn't they make it like a gun handle? Duh. That clicks. Side buttons click. Side buttons click. Look. These buttons. There's one on each side. I feel like they're really easy to accidentally squeeze. And then that pushes in like that. And there's a button there. Oh my god, focus! Button there, button there, oh, turn off! Turned it on already, I don't know if it's charged, I gotta charge it probably first. Look at this nice box, wow! Wow! These are the lighthouses. Mm -hmm. Man, this camera's having a hard time focusing. Got the power, got the sync cable button maybe? Micro USB for updating the firmware and a sync cable if you need it. If they can't see each other, you're supposed to use a sync cable. And then the beast. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like fresh HTC Vive. Oh, yeah, that foam already has lint in it. That foam's definitely gonna make the cat hair stick in it, that's for sure. That's not quite as porous as the Rift one, so maybe it'll be a. Uh, It'll be okay. Awesome! What the heck's that knob for? There's a big knob there I never realized. Okay, my new camera's not focusing all that fast. Sorry guys. I'm used to my old my old camera would focus faster. This one's higher def and more frames per second, but it doesn't quite focus as fast. So it comes with two chargers with micro USB cables. Two HTC chargers going into micro USB ports on the bottom of these controllers. I guess if you hold it down here at the bottom, where you're probably going to hold it so your thumb can rest comfortably on the touchpad, then it's pretty comfortable. It's still kind of a weird stick. I don't know why they didn't make it like, like a comfortable gun handle or something, but... <sighs> so it comes with these mounts as well. But you don't have to use them, you can use any sort of tripod mount. This is the adapter for the base station, that's the only plug the base station needs. And the cord looks to be about 10 feet long. They also included this really long sync cable that you don't need if your base stations can see each other, if you got like something hanging from your ceiling, like a ceiling fan or something like that and the base stations can't see each other, then you're gonna to have to run the sync cable from one base station to the other. Got the base station up, and it reads A, B, or C, and these lights are a lot brighter on the camera than they are in person. And the other one over there, the other corner of the room, says B. So they're making kind of a whirring, whiny noise, which is a little bit irritating. But I guess they all do that. It's a little bit louder than I thought it was going to be. Also, I thought it was really cool that they didn't have to be plugged into the PC. You can just plug them into a wall outlet. But now, every time I use them, I have to plug them and plug them back in. As opposed to them going into some sort of power saving mode or something and just, just chilling out. The thing that I thought was really cool about them, not having to connect to the PC, is that... You can put them like all over your house, or if you have a really big room, you can put them all over your room and they can work together. 
And so, like, maybe in the future you can map out your whole room or a room bigger than 15 or 16 feet in diagonal. And it'd be really hard to stretch all these cables to your PC. You just would run out of USB ports if you're going to do that that big of area with your PC. So that's another good thing about not having to have to plug them into your PC. It came with some little HTC earbuds. No mic. Just some little earbuds to plug in the back of the headset. Kind of wish they would have did what Oculus did though and, uh, and just made a headphones connected to the PC all the time. Because it gets pretty difficult trying to find your headphones when you have a VR headset on and trying to get them in your ear. It's I like how Oculus has them. You can just put it all on in one big motion and you've got sound automatically without having to try to put headphones on after putting on the headset or trying to find the headphones in the after you have the headset on. So it looks like the HTC still has that problem. It's a little bit less of a problem when they're going to be connected right to the headset and I just got to reach down and plug them into my ear. But I think they should have did it the way Oculus did it and just had the headphones connected to the headset. It's got a breakout box. It's got a short four foot power adapter that you got to plug into the breakout box. I kind of didn't expect this because these don't have to be plugged into the PC. I was hoping to get a really good laptop and put the uh, HTC into the laptop, put the laptop into my backpack, like a mesh backpack, and run around wirelessly. Because the DK2 was just powered by a USB port, so I thought maybe the laptop could power it. But this is a 12 volt power supply. So in order to do something like that, you'd have to get like some sort of battery and plug it into that. It also comes with a three foot, it doesn't come with my cat, go away Misha. A three foot HDMI cord and a three foot USB to USB cord. So you plug these in the back of your computer, you plug those in your breakout box, and then you plug the headset in the front of this. So HTC only needs one USB port, which is pretty cool. So there's kind of like, three cords coming off this HTC Vive and it's kind of a big and hefty cord set up here it seems like the, the the Oculus's CD1 is just like one of these cords that carries that they were able to get it all in like one tiny little cord maybe one like one and a half of these but this has three cords coming off of it they're attached to each other it's kind of a big hefty cord um, it's nice that it's long I think it's like 15 feet where I think Oculus's CV1 is only about 10 feet and if you see out of the headset, there's actually four cords coming out here. And this one is for the, the ear the headphones, where you can plug any sort of headphones you want into. It also comes with a narrow face replacement foam cover. Okay, so you can adjust how far away the lenses are from your face with this knob. This knob is for your IPD distance. You adjust your IPD with that. Ooh, what's that? You can see the lines in there. The DK1, DK2 did not have that, but I'll leave the... I believe the CV1 Oculus does have lenses like that. Also comes with a sticky pad for the to stick the uh, breakout box somewhere. Comes with the cleaning cloth, rubber earbuds for the earbud earphones. And that is everything that it comes with. Here it is next to my Oculus Rift DK2. Yeah, it's heavier than the DK2. Oh! And all these up here are sensors that pick up the lasers coming from the lighthouse up in the corner. I don't know how well it's going to work with the mirrors. The mirrors are kind of messing it up in the calibration, but let's go. First time trying on the HTC Vive. Huh? Alright! I'm likey. Whoa! What's the door opening for? Ah! Hold on, let me put my headphones. Shit! See what I mean? Putting on headphones is such a pain in the butt and the freaking the headsets are everything's getting put away. Oh yeah, I'm not recording the screen either. It's all choppy too. Okay, I don't hear anything, so I think something's broke. Why am I floating around? Ugh, why is it going black? What's going on? <laughs> What's going on? I think the mirror's messing with it. It keeps doing that. Going to restart it. 
but it feels pretty comfortable. It feels really comfortable. It fits right out of the box. So I'm going to have to do some stuff like get rid of these mirrors or something. Loving the 93 frames per second and the higher resolution. All right. Whoa. What happened? <laughs> oh, my headphones all out. Stupid. Why did they put the headphones on the controller? All this stuff is disappearing. It's awesome. That's the right headphone. I guess the good thing about it, though, is that you're here. The orange border in nice. which you're standing is called the play area. The play the area, it seems small. The play area were defined during setup, and VR experiences Ooh. will take place within them. Now, I'd like to introduce you to your chaperone bounds. Walk toward Ooh, me, yeah. uh, slowly, please, and stop. When you see a colored fence appeared in the so air, these walls are, are right where uh, they're right where my walls are. These are Pretty your much. chaperone bounds. They will appear whenever you approach the edge of your physical space to help you avoid right bumping into oh, objects right in the real world. Great, I think All you've right. got the hang of it. Oh, <laughs> lastly, <laughs> hit the wall already. Step back. Just you until the chaperone bounds disappear. Oh, no. uh, move them around. Wave them in front whoa, of your face. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They are... yeah. uh, let's go. You might not be able to see the border show up on your screen, but I can inside here. It's cool too that when I adjust this, it tells me like digital terms what the IPD is. On the underside of the controller, squeeze the triggers. Ooh, whoa! Oh, that's <laughs> quite dangerous. <laughs> Oh man! Find the headphones. <laughs> well, if I can put them on the floor, and it's exactly where I need to pick them up to. So my face is hot. That's one nice thing about these little earbuds is they're not hot on your ears. They don't cover up your whole ears. Some of them sound like crap, and some of them sound really good. These sound pretty good. These sound really good, actually. That's one of them. Ah. Woo! Woo yeah, very festive. <laughs> festive. Uh, the large circle oh, the it away. is you are touching the pad. Mm, nice. Oh, the nice. The trackpad is also. Oh. Ooh. I wonder where that was hiding. Oh. <laughs> Defound. Huh. Press one. Hmm. Oh. Uh, uh, try another. Mm. <laughs> Physics are spot on. Well, oh, see, I thought I got the red one there. Quite a... So, yeah, it doesn't work good with mirrors. Of course, I have a whole... If you just have, like, one mirror, you might be all right. I had a whole wall of mirrors here. It was not working good with that. Open the dashboard. Start exploring. <laughs> While you do that... Uh-oh. My batter is dead. Nice. Seems awesome. Walking around is working really good. Oh yeah. Walking around my room. Is that 10 minutes? Shoot, I'm not recording anymore. At least not on the camera. Okay, stupid camera it has a 10 minute limit on it. But anyways, oh Jesus. <laughs> They're all dogs. Oh, ah. <laughs> oh, VR. It really feels like I'm playing with the balloon here. Oink. Oink. Oh. <laughs> okay. Woo! Yeah, double wielding madness! 
just <laughs> so awesome. Oh my goodness, stay tuned, a whole bunch of new videos to come. Playing the HTC Vive, baby, woo! Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. HTC Vive!